What is household chemical waste? You might be surprised to discover how many common products found in your home or under the kitchen sink could be harmful to your health or the environment if used or disposed of improperly. Most homes contain 3 to 10 gallons of these everyday products. These materials listed should not be placed for regular trash collection or poured down the drain or poured on the ground. Please bring the items to the Lee County Household Chemical Waste Collection Site at 6441 Topaz Court. Unwanted household products labeled as flammable, toxic, corrosive, and or reactive are common household chemical wastes. The following items are accepted at the Topaz Court facility. Aerosols, antifreeze, ammunition, automotive fluids, car and boat batteries, cleaning compounds, compact fluorescent tubes and bulbs, cooking oil, diesel fuel, fertilizers, fiberglass epoxy, fire extinguishers, flares, floor care products, Freon, fungicides, furniture polish, gasoline, herbicides, household batteries, insecticides, kerosene, metal polish, mothballs, paint, both oil and latex, pesticides, photochemicals, poisons, pool chemicals, propane tanks, rechargeable batteries, resins, solvents, thermostats with mercury, varnish, weed killers, and wood preservatives. In order to safely transport your household chemical waste to the Topaz facility, place items in the trunk or rear of your vehicle in sturdy boxes or containers that can be thrown away. Please do not mix products. Do not smoke. Keep products in their original containers or label products that are not in their original containers. Secure products so that they won't leak. Don't store products in the trunk of your car for two to three days prior to bringing them to the facility. Electronic waste, also known as e-waste, can be placed at the curb for collection by the franchise garbage company. If residents so desire, they may bring e-waste to the Topaz facility. Electronic waste can include CPUs, printers, TVs, scanners, VCRs, DVD players, monitors, cell phones, peripherals, and microwaves. Expired or unwanted prescriptions and over-the-counter medications from households should never be disposed of by flushing them down the toilet or a drain. Although this method of disposal prevents accidental ingestion, it can cause contamination to Florida's aquatic environment because wastewater treatment systems are not designed to remove many of these medications. Please use these practical guidelines when disposing of prescription and over-the-counter medicines. For pills and liquids. First, keep the medicines in the original container. This will help identify the contents if they are accidentally ingested. Then, mark out your name and prescription number for safety. For pills, add some water or soda to start dissolving them. For liquids, add something inedible. Then, close the lid and secure the container with duct tape or packing tape. Then, place the bottle or bottles inside of an opaque container like a coffee can or plastic laundry bottle. Then, tape that container closed. Finally, hide the container in the trash and do not put it in the recycling bin. Never throw your used or unused needles in the garbage. In order to prevent accidental needle sticks, Never flush, bury, or burn them. 
Never use a container that is not rigid or puncture resistant. Never use clear plastic or glass containers. Never mix needles with recyclable items and never leave them accessible to others. If someone in your home has an accidental needle stick, contact your healthcare professional immediately.